you guessed it, we at the California Aqueducts, baby, once again. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We out here. Go for catfish. Um, for bait, we got some mackerel and some, some jumbo shrimp. So, it's a little bit of a windier day, but we're up over with one of these hills, so, you know, it's more hot on this side, so it should be good. Water's nice and calm today. It's really high. The water's really high today. Um, but yeah, we should be good. Get back to it right now. I'm gonna set up my my line and my bait and everything. So.
it drifting a little bit? Yep, if it's on, I think so. Yep, little baby, he's not too big. Get down a little bit. That's on the macro, guys. First fish of the day, baby. I'm hung. It's all right. Bring him up around that one. I think he's just right there, right? All right, fam. Good shit. First fish of the day. Little baby. That wasn't even what? Not even five minutes. Oh, I barely got him on the whisker. Look. Let's get him up here, guys. But that was on the hey, guys. Mac First bite, mackerel. Come here, buddy. I know. I know. He's nice. Try to get this hook out of him. There you go, guys. First one of the day, little baby. Thanks, buddy. We're gonna let him go. Thanks, bud. All right, we're just gonna get this back in the water. Yeah, I was sitting there. At first, we just thought it was the current because the current's kind of strong right now. And then it just kept binging, 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 as you guys seen. So yeah, cool. First one of the day, y'all. Wasn't even five minutes in the water. So, let's get back out here. Perfect, same spot. Let it roll a little bit. Throw our bell back on. Ah. Same thing, just kick back and wait. Got something? Nah. Nothing yet. <laughs> he set the hook like he had a fish. Set the set every hook like it's Moby Dick. Yep. All right, y'all. Just got another big hit on my pole. Oh, let's see. He might have just been playing with it. Nah, we got a hit, but false alarm, he's not on there no more. Nah. nah. Just got a nice hit on his pole. They're messing with him already. Twice to hit his pole. Angler Eddie, you guys, he's using shrimp on both of his poles. Right now I'm using mackerel. So yeah. Get some good hits already. setup i have on this one it's just a little it's not a really set up set up but what i did was i put a two ounce weight it's like a carolina rig but in my different way so instead of using the eagle claws leader what i did was see i know y'all heard that it's it just playing man we'll get back to y'all if this guy gets on there like what I was saying, the leaders from the uh, from Eagle Claws, I use a one out uh, one out hook. So I just burn the leader and put the one out hook on there on the braided leader and the two ounce weight at the bottom. So it's just a so it's, I just call it a solo Carolina rig. It's just a different way I do it. So that's what's on this black one and on this one it is a. Uh, Carolina, it's like a, 
look like a nuke weight, I would say. It's like a, uh, it slides up and down. So I have a one uh, weight at the top first. Then I tie my leader with the hook at the bottom. So what my weight is doing is just sliding back and forth in the water. But it still keep my bait floating up. So on this one, I don't really hit this one. It's something big. It has to be big, right? It's yeah. not gonna be nothing small. No, no small ones. It has to be like a real, a real big, big hit because the hook I'm using is a size seven Demon Perfect hook. So, and I just got some anti-bite bleeders. I forgot what size they are or the pound. So hopefully, I can, that's the ones I'm using right now. So hopefully, we'll see what's gonna happen. Yes, sir. So, nice day too. Yep. Yeah. All right, y'all, fish on. Second one of the day. Another little baby, but once again on that mackerel, there he is. All right. Good little bottom lip, bottom lip set. You'll see it right there. Get him off of the hook. This is, he's even smaller than the first one I got. Oh, I got him through both lips. Bro, it was from the top. And it came down through the bottom. Second one of the day, guys. He's small. A lot smaller. But yeah, still on the mackerel. California Aqueducts. Angler Eddie hasn't got nothing yet. He got a couple good bites, though. Look, this guy is strong. Oh, this one's not that strong. I'm getting back in the water. Thank you, buddy. Oh, no. He's all right. There he goes. Yes, sir. Second one of the day. Alright, Angler Eddie's first one of the day. Got another baby. Good little size. Bigger than mine. So this is what, third catfish of the day total? Yep. Right now you're in the lead. It's right cool, now. man. You're in the lead in terms of weight. In terms of size, you're in the lead. Alright, All right, what'd you catch him on with this one, bro? Uh for this one, because I used the other uh, I used the other pole the black one for shrimp i just put a uh, macro on this one a good big piece size for it size and seven hook yep uh, circle hook yep. there you go guys nice little size whisker. right through the whisker just like my other one all right yeah get it back in the water there you go guys second one of the day i'm gonna go get my setup back in the water you don't even got a bell on this one you could be having a fish right now <laughs> get mine back in the water in a second Fish on. This is my third fish of the day. Man, he hit that ball hard. I thought it was big, man. Another little baby. He's bigger than my other two, though. There he is, right there, guys. Right there, I keep getting right on the lip. Barely have him on there. Once again, mackerel. It's been about 30 minutes since my last fish, but they're still pretty consistent with the bites. He's a little bit bigger. He got some battle scars on him though. He's nice. Try to bite him. Thanks, buddy. Once again. But look at him. Dirt fish of the day for me. Uh, Angler 80's caught one. But yeah, he might get out of here for a little bit, go hang out with his lady. But he'll be back on later if he does leave. But I'll be here fishing up a storm, man. I'm not leaving. So, but yeah, he's making a little noise. I'm getting back in the water. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. All right, guys. You guys won't even believe what just happened at fucking to Eddie's pole. So he was chilling over there, right? Look, I can walk you guys over here. His pole was right here. His pole stand was right here. Right? We're over here ch chilling. I was getting my pole ready. He was relining his pole. And all you hear is ding. And we look over, right? And then, boom. And the fucking pole just flies in the water. The pole holder flies in the water. And right here, we're chasing it, right? I'm like, bro, go down there. Like, I'll hold your leg. Like, go in and get the pole. And it's going right here. And then you just see the pole. Boom. And it just, like, just goes down. Like, you can't even see it no more. It just disappears. This fish was huge. It took his pole with it. We seen the pole go like this, and then it just went down. Boom. That, it was crazy. I've never seen nothing like it. This is the hole that the fish made pulling 
the the pole holder out of the ground. We were able to retrieve the pole holder, but the pole's gone. There's no saving the pole. He ran all the way down. He went all the way down this way to try to get it. Excuse me. And it was gone. That fish swam straight down. It was huge. I've never seen nothing like that in my life. How you feel about it, bro? Bro, honestly, a pole is a pole and a reel is a reel. But even though it's kind of hectic because the story goes at the California Aqueduct on Mariposa, the story goes that it is two or three 20 pounders underneath the bridge that where the pumps open and this bridge right here. The story goes that every night they come out and, and be hungry. So for it to come out during this time and snatch my pole out like that, it, it's unbelievable. Yeah, if you guys get that fish, it's probably gonna be a PB. Cause that motherfucker pulled his pole in the water like it was nothing. But we're gonna get back to it. I'll let y'all know if we hook him up, man. But that was crazy. Eddie's on. What was it, Poon Drag? Yeah. I just loosened that. Okay. Man, we got him up. Good size little cat. Yep. He's trying to get away. He's like, I wanna go home. Got him right there. Hell yeah. He hit it. He didn't even hesitate. He just hit and run. He but he a good. At least? Yeah, he a good size. Holy shit. All right, y'all. We are right here under this little bridge. No wind. We're just chilling right here. I got my pole in the water still. Hopefully, it don't get smacked in. Nah, you gotta go hold it. All right, y'all, buddy. I don't hold that. There he goes. All right, let's get back to it, boy. Got a little bit of blood Jeez. on my head. all right. Yeah, he was bleeding a little bit. Got him through the eye. But we weighed him. He was a two pounds. So yeah. What's up fams? AC Cafe is back out here. Yes sir, yes sir. Still at the aqueducts. We're actually heading out right now. Uh, we got a couple good fish today, but it slowed down. It's getting too cold, so we're heading out of here. But see you on the next video. Stay tuned.